not even for the ones who weren't even born when Neil Armstrong walked the moon. Uh, we got our family stem zone. Our Visitors lined up to share this moment in history. This is how I do it. They watched as parachuters fell from the sky carrying a flag flown on the moon. Inside and away from the heat, visitors of all ages had a chance to experience space exploration with an up-close look at the space capsule similar to what transported Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin to the moon and the progression of space travel over time with a walk through a modern-day shuttle. But even 50 years later, visitors got to hear the tale of Apollo 11 from the men who helped blast it into space. They described a tense few days in late July of 1969. At one point, the crew almost ran out of fuel. Mission Control Operator Bob Nance puts his Apollo 11 experience into perspective half a century later. I came here in 1967, right out of college, uh, and two years later I was involved in landing on the moon. And, uh, you know, as, as the world, it, is, it, was, it was a tough time in the world at that time, and it brought people together. I mean, and then to have then Apollo 13 just a short time later, uh, all of these events brought people together. I'm hoping that maybe through all of this we'll bring people together once again, that we are one Earth and, and one people. Uh, trying to do amazing things in the world. The events are expected to continue until late tonight. In the 9 o'clock hour, there will be a countdown with fireworks at the exact moment that Apollo 11 landed on the moon. From Space Center Houston, I'm Matt Dorton, KSU 11 News.